Hi there. Well, as usual, if you'd like to give this question a go, I'll just give you a moment to read the question. And when you come back, either fast forward or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, so just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So the first part of this is, I think, quite tricky, actually. So uh, let's just take our fraction here, x over 1 minus x all cubed. We've got to show then that it can be expressed as this. Now, in order to do this, this is the method I came up with anyway. I'm not saying it's the greatest method at all, but uh, I can see that we've got this x squared here. And that gave me the hint to create that term by dividing the top here by x cubed. That will give me 1 over x squared. So the thing is, if I divide the top, let's just do that in red. If I divide the top by x cubed, then I must divide the bottom of the fraction, the 1 minus x cubed, also by x cubed. So let's just put that in. We'll put that as divided by, and then in red, x cubed. OK? Now, as I said, when we look at x over x cubed, that's going to reduce down to 1 over x squared. So that's a start, OK? That's what I noticed when I was looking at how to possibly start this, the 1 over x squared. Now for the 1 minus x all cubed over x cubed, what I can do is, because both of these are cubed, I can think of this as just 1 minus x all divided by x and the lot just cubed. And so what we've got here is 1 over x squared. Let's just bring it down now to the front here. 1 over x squared. And it's being multiplied by 1 over 1 minus x all over x cubed. So we've got 1 over 1 minus x over x all cubed. Now, when it comes to 1 minus x over x, what I can do is I can divide each of the two terms by the x. So I've got 1 over x minus x over x, which is 1. So you get 1 over x minus 1. And you can start to see this is shaping up a bit to this. Now if I was to just pull out a minus 1 from this bracket here, let's just put the square bracket here, minus 1, then I've got the 1 here, and then minus 1 over x. And all of this is cubed. Let's just extend that line there. So what we've got here is minus 1 all cubed, which is going to be negative 1. And I can multiply it with the 1 over x squared. And so what that's going to give me then is that this is equal to minus 1 over x squared. And then we've got 1 over 1 minus 1 over x all cubed. And if I bring that up to the top, I can write that as 1 minus 1 over x all to the power minus 3. And that is what we had to show. I think that's quite tricky, though, for uh, that first bit. Anyway, we've now got to expand this, hence find the first three terms of the binomial expansion of this in, t in powers of 1 over x. Now we can expand this using the binomial expansion formula. And just to remind you, it's this one here that we used in the very first part of this question. Only this time, n is the minus 3, and a is minus 1 over x. So using the formula then, let's just keep the 1 over minus 1 over x squared out the front here. This is going to be approximately, though, the same as minus 1 over x squared. And then, if I set up a square bracket at the front here, we've got 1 
plus n, the power, which is minus 3, multiplied by the a, the a being minus 1 over x, so put that in there, minus 1 over x. And then it's plus n again, which is minus 3, and from this we subtract one more, so that's going to be minus 4. It's over 2 factorial, 2 times 1, I'll just put 2 times 1 there. And then times a squared, a being the minus 1 over x. So it's minus 1 over x, and that's all squared. And then it's plus, and so on. And I'll just square that off there. We only wanted the first three terms, so when I multiply this with each of these three in here, it's going to generate three terms. So what have we got? Cleaning this up, I can see that this 2 goes once there and goes into that minus 2 times. So we have then minus 1 over x squared times 1, which is minus 1 over x squared. This term here is going to be plus 3 over x, multiplied with the minus 1 over x squared is still going to give me another negative term. It's going to be minus 3 over the x times the x squared, which is x cubed. And for this term here, this is going to be plus 1 over x squared. This is going to be plus 6, so we're going to get plus 6 over x squared, multiplied with the minus 1 over x squared. That's going to be minus 6 over x to the power 4. And then it'll be minus and so on. So there's our expansion in powers of 1 over x for the first three terms.